Welcome back to Tic Tac Doe. We're doing episode 53 and season 4 of Tic Tac Doe. Glad to have you with us. We're going to have an awesome time. I can feel it in my bones. I made a mis another mistake on a question. And the question was, in Star Wars, what disguise did Luke and Han wear on the Death Star? Well, it's, I have on this card the Stormtrooper armor. But it can also be a Stormtrooper outfit. As well, so Corey is back for a third time. Still have his wings intact. Six hundred seventy-five thousand six hundred and nine dollars. All right, but Kyle, are you ready to do the beat the dragon game? Uh, yeah. We still owe you that. So you ready to do it? And here we go. We're gonna bring the beat the dragon game up here right now. Alright Kyle, as you know the goal is to get to $10,000 or more or get the ticket in the attack without seeing that dragon. It's that simple. Let's see what prizes you're in for. A five piece dining group, a bedroom group and sleep set, a computer cabinet, a dining group and dinnerware, a lacing graphic and tranquil moment, and a computer desk and Dell Pentium desktop. And those prizes are totaled. $23,803. Excuse me. Yeah, that's cheap. Yeah, it is cheap. Well, Kyle, if you get the ticket and attack on any of your picks, it's a $40,000 bonus. Do it on your first two picks, it's an $80,000 bonus and a shot at a new car. If you're ready to go, Kyle, go ahead and start picking. I'm ready for another Dragon 7. Let's see what's in number 7. $1,000. Dragon, but let's go with number four. Let's see what's in number four. There's another $1,500. Ah, you have $2,500. This is El Cheapo. Let's go number one. He's going with number one right down the road. Let's see it. Now we have the tag. Oh, yes. Find the nine. tick, and we give you a $40,000 bonus, number nine. You have another $5,000. Now, this is your last pick. You'll either win or lose on this pick. I'm assuming you're going. Yeah, I am. Which number? Five. He needs $2,500 or the tick. Does he do it? You did it. Good job. Yeah. I'm in the fetal position. Fetal position. Fetal position. That's another $11,500 and the prize package. Incidentally, the tick was in number six and the dragon was in number two. That gives you another $35,303. Combine that with the $28,000 in cash he's already won. And what's his total? $63,303. Good job, Kyle. So that means that, that the, the tick and the tack jackpot is at $45,000 or $90,000 if it happens on the first... Two picks, and we'll have y'all second rematch right now. Let this music cycle. <laughs> All right. Congratulations, Kyle. But now we bring back Corey for part three of the epic battle of Tic Tac Doe history. Yes, it is. <laughs> I. All right, guys, y'all ready? Yes. All right, here are the nine categories we'll deal with, and they are, we have mixed fruit and veggies, double or nothing, main current events, solar system, Star Wars, bonus category, all about Nick, opponent's choice, and slogans. Okay, let me block y'all up things, and Kyle, which category you want to start with? Bonus. Go with the bonus category. Here is your three part question on the bonus category. What does the three letters in the abbreviation DOS stand for in the operating system MS-DOS? Um, I think, think that would be... You got five seconds. Operating system. Say again. 
direct operating system? Incorrect. It's disk yeah. operating system. Disk oh, operating man. system. Okay, we shuffle. I'm challenging that. <laughs> Corey. Let's go with... What'd you say? Um, bonus. He's going with the bonus category. Here's your three-part question, Corey. All right. Give me three of the top ten animals that people wish they had as pets. I need three of the top ten animals, according to the top10s.com website, that people wish they had as pets. Uh, dog. That's number two on the list. Uh, a cat. That's number three on the list. One more. And a bird. Incorrect. It's not on the list. That's wrong. Here, right. Here's what the list reads. We have number 10, a gopher. Nine is a hamster. Number eight is a horse. Number seven is an owl. Wait a minute. You know what? Oh, did you screw up again? An owl is a b bird, ain't it? Yeah. yeah. You fucked up again. You know what? I'm going to fix it. You know what? I should have told him to be more specific on that. Corey, you get another turn. Hold on. All right. Just so. Because we're not going to even. Just go throw that question out. Just throw that question out and do another bonus. Yeah, do another bonus. You want to just uh, do it? You want to do another bonus question? Yeah, that's the only fair thing since that was yeah. uh, okay. uh, botched. All right, we're going to well, scratch that. Okay, here's a new bonus category question. Next turn. All right. I need the three Bronte sisters. Give me... Oh, hang on, you gotta cycle through X first. Yeah, you gotta cycle. Okay, I gotta cycle through X. Hang on. Just pick something. Wrong. I think we need a new host. Yeah. yeah oh, don't do that. Yeah, here we go. Meow, 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 meow. And you just want the bonus category, right, Corey? Yep. Who are the three Bronte sisters? That's the bonus question. Who are the three... So what's that? What was the first name... Of the three Bronte sisters. That would be. That five. Emily. That's one. And. That's two. And. Charlotte. That's right. Good job. <laughs> All right. We have $2,000 in the pot. We shuffle. Dang it. Oh. Oh, I All right, where to, uh, Corey? <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> I dare you, Corey. I dare you. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> where are you? Where are you going? I said double. He oh, said double no. nothing. Okay, here's your double nothing question. What TV show featured the fictional band Jesse and the Rippers? That five, would be... Five seconds. Full House. That's right. Now, are we uh, keeping that box or risking it for another? Opponent choice. This will be for... Oh, he did it! This is for the win. Get this question right on the opponent's choice. It'll be your eighth win, $6,000, and you'll be the champion, okay? You're already and the champion. And fourth game against Kyle. Good yeah, Lord. Yeah, We're not doing a fourth game. No, no, no. Kyle gets another game because he only had one turn so far. Hey! No, that doesn't work. That doesn't work with the X's. Only with the circles. Are you kidding me? Yeah, it doesn't work really? with the X's. Only with the circles, oh, yes. That's bullshit. Right, yes, it. but here it is. Kyle, you can choose. You can force him to answer a question on history or science. History. All right, here's your question on history. The, ti the Titanic sank while on its way to what city, Corey, for Tic Tac doing $6,000? I believe that would be New York. You got Tic Tac Doe. Good job. <laughs> 
Okay. And I'm not gonna fuck up again. Okay. We had six thousand dollars. Challenge that. <laughs> All right. You want to challenge that, Kyle? No, I ain't gonna challenge that. Okay, so 681, 609. So you're the champion. That's your eighth win, Corey. Congratulations. Kyle, you're still on the leaderboard anyway. You have $63,303 and our congratulations, okay? Yes. All right, Corey, come over here. Let's do the Beat the Dragon game. Uh oh, did, did, did uh, Jizz's pants? No, no, I'm literally trying to hold from Jizz in my pants right now. I gotta pee. All right, well, you don't have to hold. Just hold on, Corey. All right. Let's just hope we don't have a P on the board, like, like on Fuego. Yeah, P on the board, yes. <laughs> yep. All right, Co oh, all right Kyle. I a P on the Plinko board. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Kyle, go ahead. Okay, uh, we are going to... Player! <laughs> uh, desktop with the, I don't know. Uh, projected TV and a sound system. A trip to Munich, a splare, a billiards table, and a water strike. It's 31,354. I'm fucking done. Alright. Get the ticket attack on any of your picks, Corey. It's a it's a uh, forty five thousand dollar bonus. Doing your first two picks, it's a ninety thousand dollar bonus and a shot at the car. Go ahead and start picking. Bullseye. Number five. There's a thousand dollars. Go. All right. Three. Let's see what's in number three. There's another twenty-five hundred. You have thirty-five hundred. Let's go nine. Let's see what's in number nine. There's the tag. Find a ticket. We give you the cash bonus if you're right. Six. All right, it's ticket behind number six. Another fifteen hundred. You have five thousand. Eight. Let's see what's in number eight. Another three thousand dollars. You have eight thousand dollars. This is your final pick. Two. All right, let's finish this off with two. Let's see what's in number two. No. Was it number one? We'll see. I'm gonna guess number four. It was in number two. Dad, that's an awkward uh, mix-up. But anyway, you still have $681,609. So that means you're going to play against um, Brandon next when we come back. After this, y'all, stick with us, won't you? Or you can play against that. Wait a minute. You played Alan already, so you can play against Brandon. That's right. All right, guys, we're back with Tic Tac Doe. Glad to have you with us. And the person that he's going to play against now is uh, Brandon Scruggs. And let me put this down because Kyle has to sit out for at least two games. All right, y'all guys ready to play? Yes. Yep. All right, here we go. Here's the nine new subjects we're dealing with, and they are we have the NHL. Secret category, if you choose that category and you're correct in that category, we double everything in the pot. Remember, the person who who uh, um, breaks the $107,000 pot record and wins the game will win a $17 bonus. We have New Testament. We have Nursery Rhymes, May Current Events, Double or Nothing, Millionaire, Opponent's Choice, and The Zodiac. All right, where to, um, Corey? For once, I'm going to play fair here against Brandon here. I want to see how well he does, so I'm going to go with Nursery Rhymes. Nice. You want to be nice to Brandon. Okay, here's a question on Nursery Rhymes. I'm going to read you. Um, okay, I'm going to read you a question. You have to tell me what Nursery Rhyme is associated with it. Who was, who was fast asleep under a haystack when the sheep when the sheep was in the meadow and the cow in the corn? You got five seconds, Corey. Uh, little Boy Blue. That's correct. Good job. Okay, we have $2,000 in the pot, and we shuffle. I was going through that in my head there. I just wanted to be sure. All right, Brandon. I will 
will take nursery rhymes as well. Second time in the category, your question on nursery rhymes. Now, all I need you to do to get that box is finish the line to the song Old McDonald, okay? I'm going to start it, okay? Old McDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on his farm he had a cow, E-I-E-I-O. Give me the next line. With a moo-moo here and a moo-moo there, here a moo, there a moo, everywhere a moo-moo. Nicely done. Good job. $4,000 is in the pot and we shuffle. All right, Corey. What did you say? The secret category. He's going with the secret category. Get this question right on the secret category. We double the pot to eight thousand dollars. <laughs> bless you. Bless you, Kyle. Thank you. Uh, what's Corey? Oh, bless you, Corey. What Thank book? You. What book starts with the line "Call me Ishmael"? That would be... Five seconds. Moby Dick. That's correct. Good job. We double the pot. $8,000 and we shuffle. Because I darn well know red categories aren't going in center, so... Yep. Go ahead. Uh, Your selection, Brandon. Ooh. NHL for the block. Okay. Your question on the NHL is a two-part question. Bless you. It's a two-part question. And here we go. First, I need you to give me the team that goes with Buffalo. That's the first question. And the second one, in which Canadian city is the NHL Hall of Fame located? Is it A, Montreal, B, Vancouver, C, Ottawa, or D, Toronto? Here's the time to think about it. Alright, where, okay, which one you want to start with first, Brandon? I'm on the first one. Alright, what team is the so? Is it the Buffalo Sabres? That's correct, and for the center box, in which Canadian city is the NHL Hall of Fame located? Is it A, Montreal? I have no idea, so I'm going to take a complete guess here and say Montreal. Montreal is incorrect, it's Toronto. Toronto. Ah, that'll be my next guess. Okay, we have eight thousand dollars in the pot. We shuffle. All right, Corey. Um, millionaire for the win. Okay, get this question right. A millionaire. It'll be tic tac toe. Eleven thousand dollars, and your wins will be at six hundred ninety-two thousand six hundred and nine dollars. It's a two-part question. All right. Here, here's your question. Which pope began his reign in 963 A.D.? Is it A. Gregory the First, B. Gregory the Seventh, C. Le C. Leon the Eighth, or D. Innocent the Third? And the second one. What is the second longest river in South America? Is it A. The Amazon River, B. The Piranha River? C, the Zangu River, or D, the Rio Orinoco? Here's the time to think about it. Okay, which part do you want to ask first? Uh, the second part. Okay, what is the second longest river in South America? Is it A, the Amazon River, B, the Piranha River, C, the Zingu River, or D, the Rio Orinoco? Can you repeat the choices? Okay. A, Amazon River, B, Piranha River, C, Zingu River, or D, Rio Orinoco? You have five seconds. That would be the Amazon River. Incorrect. That's it, the first longest sunshine. Right, right. What's the second one, uh, Alan? I don't know. I think it's the Zangu River, is it 
It's the Piranha. It's the Piranha River. The Piranha River. And uh. and which pope begins his reign in 963 A.D. is Leo the Eighth. Leo the Eighth. Okay, dear. All right, we shuffle. All right. <laughs> Where to, Brandon? Y'all killing me with these hockey questions. Oh. Seriously. You want to go NHL for the block? Now, guys. I have a choice. Now, I'm gonna tell the viewers out there: this is run on a random computer. I have no control of it. Once it shuffles, that's where it goes. So you're going with the NHL, and here's your two-part question. The NHL record for a career assist is held by Wayne Gretzky. Who is second on the career assist list? Is it A, Mark Messner, B, Paul Coffey, C, Ray Burrick, or D, Ron Francis? And the second one. Which NHL team won the Stanley Cup for the 2010 through 2011 season? Is it A. Pittsburgh Penguins, B. The New York Rangers, C. The Detroit Red Wings, or D. The Boston Bruins? And while I close the windows, uh, I'll let you think about that. Combo, Brandon. Now, which part do you want to answer first? I'll try the first part. All right. The NHL record for career assists is held by Wayne Gretzky. Who is the second one on the career assist list? Is it A. Mark Messner, B. Paul Kofi, C. Ray Bork, or D. Ron Francis? Um. I'm going to guess... Five seconds. A? Mark Messier, Mark Messier is wrong. It's Ron Francis. Ron Francis. And the other one, which NHL team won the Stanley Cup for 2010 and the 2011 season is the Boston Bruins. The Boston Bruins. Okay, we still have... Eight, that one right. Yep. We still have $8,000 in the pie and we shuffle. Okay, Corey. This is not me just me. You, let me see what Chuckles just peeped about. NHL for the win. Okay, your turn, Corey. Your turn. Okay. He punts. Okay. Get the th get the three get the two part question right in NHL. You'll win the game with eleven thousand dollars, and your total will be six hundred ninety two thousand six hundred nine dollars. Okay. All right. First. Give me the team that is associated with Nashville. And the second one, how many teams did Steve Zerman play for during his NHL career? Is it A4, B1, C2, or D3? Here's the time to think about it. All right, Corey, which part you want to answer first? Part two. How many teams did Steve Zerman play for during his NHL career? Is it A4, B1, C2, or D3? I'll say two. Incorrect. He only played for one team. Zerman played for I the... I did know the other one. Yep. Yeah, Zerman played for the Detroit Red Rings from 1983 to 2006. And, Nashville, and the other one was the Predators. That's correct. That's correct. Okay, we have $8,000 in the pot and we shuffle. Please, no hockey. Where to? <laughs> okay, I can at least, at least have a chance here. New Testament for the block. Okay, two-part question, and we will give you the extra time on that. Let's get the New Testament questions out. Here we go, two-part question. And here we go. First, what was the basis of an argument between Paul and Barnabas? Is it A, the, the circumcision, or excuse me, the circumcision of Timothy, B, the destination, C, who should speak in Lystra, or D, taking Mark along on the journey? And the second one, 
Which of the following is celebrated close to the Feast of Unleavened Bread? Is it A, the Passover, B, the Festival of the First Fruits, C, the, pre the Presentation, or D, the Festival of Tabernacles? Here's the time to think about it. Alright, Brandon, which part you want to answer first? Try the first part. What was the basis of an argument between Paul and Barnabas? Is A, the cru excuse me, the circumcision of Timothy, B, their destination, C, who should speak in Lystra, or D, taking Mark along on the journey? You have five seconds. I'm going to say B. Their destination is incorrect. Incorrect. Taking Mark along on the journey. You can find that scripture in Acts 15.37. And the other one, which of the following is celebrated close to the Feast of Unleavened Bread? It's the Passover. The Passover? Yeah, the Passover. Yeah, I that part. Okay, we shuffle. Go, Corey. <laughs> NHL. Okay, for the win. All right, get this question right on NHL. You'll, the two questions right on NHL, again, $11,000. First, in 1968, what was the first expansion team to reach the Stanley Cup Finals? Is it A, the California Seals, B, the St. Louis Blues, C, the Pittsburgh Penguins, or D, the Minnesota North Stars? And the second one. What was the first NHL team to win back-to-back -back Stanley Cup titles? Is it A, the Montreal Canadiens, B, the Ottawa Senators, C, the Boston Bruins, or D, the New York Rangers? Here's the time to think about it. All right, Corey, which part you want to answer first? Uh, the first one. In 1968, what was the first expansion team to reach the Stanley Cup Finals? Is it A, the California Seals, B, the St. Louis Blues, C, the Pittsburgh Penguins, or D, the Minnesota North Stars? That would be the St. Louis Blues. That's correct. And for Tic Tac Doe, $11,000 bring your wings to $692,609. What was the first NHL team to win back-to-back -back Stanley Cup titles? Is A, the Montreal Canadiens, B, the Ottawa Senators, C, the Boston Bruins, or D, the New York Rangers? That would be Five the, seconds. the New York Rangers. Incorrect. It's the yeah, Ottawa like Senators. It. The Ottawa Senators. Okay, we shuffle. Please don't have a word. It's going to be a fight for this. All right, go ahead. I have seen, oh my God, nursery rhymes for the block, please. All right, nursery rhymes for the block, two-part question, and we'll give you the time. You know that already. Here we go. In the poem, Humpty Dumpty, where was Humpty when he fell? Is it A, he fell off a wall, B, he fell out of a tree, C, he fell out of bed, or D, he fell off the roof? And the second one, what creature scares little Miss Muffet? Is it A, a wolf, B, a snake, C, a spider, or D, a rat? Here's the time to think about it. All right, Brandon, which part you want to answer first? I'm going to answer them both at the same time. Humpty Dumpty was sitting on a wall when he fell, and but Little Miss Muffet was scared by a spider. Correct and correct. Good job. Finally, we got that block. $11,000 is in the pot and we shuffle. Okay, your turn, um, Corey. Zodiac. For the block, your question on the Zodiac. What Zodiac sign is represented by the bull and includes the dates April 21st through May 21st? Taurus. That's correct, good job. We have $13,000 in the pot and we shuffle. 
Brandon. Um, opponent's choice for the block. Okay, Corey, you get to choose a subject for Brandon, okay? Do you want him to answer okay. a question on cartoons or the Ten Commandments? Ten Commandments. Okay, here's your question on the Ten Commandments, um, Brandon. Where's the Sixth Commandment? Five seconds. Repeat the question again. What is the sixth commandment? Uh, uh, I think it's thou shalt not kill. You was about to get buzzed out. That's right. Okay. $15,000 is in the pot and we shuffle. I barely remember the order. All right, Corey. Zodiac. All right, for the block, your question on the Zodiac. What Zodiac sign is represented by the lion and includes the dates July 24th through August 23rd? Leo. That's correct. Good job. All right, we have $17,000 in the pot. Two boxes left. Let's see what happens. Let's shuffle. All right, where to, Brandon? Secret category for a win. All right, Brandon, you get this question right on the secret category. We double the pot from $17,000 to $34,000, and you'll be the new champion. Here's okay. your se secret category question. What fiber-producing plant is attacked by the bow weevil? Repeat that. What fiber-producing plant is attacked by the bow weevil? Is it a silk plant? I'm sorry, that's incorrect. It's cotton. Cotton. Mm -hmm. All right, and we shuffle. All right, where to, Corey? Millionaire for the win. You get this question right, a millionaire. It'll be your ninth win, $19,000, and your winnings will go up to $700,609. All right. Here's your millionaire question. In what year was the famous Chicago Fire? Is it A, 1900, B, 1888, C, 1871, or D, 1794? That would Five be seconds. The great Chicago Fire of 1871. Tic-tac-toe! Yay! Well done, sir. Another Thank 19, you. I remember 000. from that one TV show that had Gary Hobbs in it, if I can remember that, remember the name of it. Yep. So that brings your winnings to $700,609. And you're going to go ahead against that dragon shortly. Brandon, you gave him a run for his money there. We'll definitely have you for another game, okay? Uh, it's a pleasure. It's a good job, Corey. Thank uh, you. All right, Corey. I think this may be the last part tonight. You ready to go ahead and beat the dragon? Yep. Here we go. Let's do the beat the dragon game. All right. And it is going to be the last part because I only have one bar on my camera left. Okay. Let's see what prizes you're in for this time. And they are the following. Trip to Bermuda. Trip to Bermuda. Go ahead. Water trike. Oh. Console piano from Queen. Dining group and dinnerware set. Petite grand piano with spa. A price package for $33,746. All right. And if you get the ticket and tackle on any of your picks, it's a $50,000 bonus. During your first two picks, it's $100,000 and a shot at a new car. You're getting very close to the million dollar mark. Go ahead, Corey. Bullseye. Let's see what's in number five. $1,500. Because I like hitting your bullseye out. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? Pew! <laughs> <laughs> anyway, jokes aside, number one. He's going number one. Let's see what's in number one. 
That was the dragon. I'm sorry, Corey. Well, let's That's fine. let's see where the tick, the tack, and the, everything else in the corners. Number three nine. and nine. So that means the jackpot goes up to fifty-five thousand dollars or hundred ten thousand dollars if it happens on the first two picks. So, uh, guys, our next episode of Tic Tac Doe will be on Monday if y'all willing to come on after the barbecue. Y'all gonna be yeah. on on Monday? Oh yeah, I think I should be on. All right, splendid. Okay, guys, this is Rodney One Two Seven Nine signing off. Saying, be safe, be careful, take care, everybody, and have a good Memorial Day weekend. Goodbye, y'all. And here's the closing. Ice crackers, they have a cheddar cheese taste as big as the ocean. For a wholesome snack, any time, it's right. Dolphin and Friends, bite size cheddar cheese crackers. Ragu's Pizza Quick Kit. Everything you need for pizzeria, good pizza at home. Open Ragu's Pizza Quick Kit and open your own pizzeria. 20 Mule Team Borax, a natural cleaning and freshening for all the family washes. 20 Mule Team Borax, 144 square feet feet of one stick floor tile easy to apply because the adhesive is on the back flint coat key on stick floor tile available in distinctive decorator styles and finally a member of the studio audience will receive a gift certificate from hummaker and slammer shop from our catalog or redeem at a store in new york city furnished by hummaker and slammer is an RC Studios production in association with the deep saying we'll see you again.